it's here it's here too it's here as well do you know what i'm talking about have you guessed it by now well i am talking about matter now you know that we have already learned about what matter is in an earlier video so today we will learn about different types of matter that exist around us this soil that you see is matter but it is pure matter or impure matter the milk in this kitchen is that pure or impure matter you know the term pure is quite subjective which gets me questioning is matter around us pure you know this term pure is quite subjective for a common person like you and me pure means having no adulteration but for a scientist all these things are actually mixtures of different substances and hence not pure for example the milk that i was just talking about is actually a mixture of water fats proteins and a few other components when a scientist says that something is pure it means that all the constituent particles of that substance are the same in their chemical nature a pure substance consists of a single type of particle in other words a substance is a pure single form of matter all around us most of the matter exists as mixtures of two or more components air sea water minerals soil etc are all mixtures so mixtures and pure substances are two basic types in which matter can exist a pure substance contains only one type of particle millions sometimes billions of these particles come together to form a pure substance all the elements and compounds are pure substance because they contain only one kind of particle elements like hydrogen oxygen aluminum silver and gold are pure substances also compounds such as water carbon dioxide sugar camphor are pure substances now coming to the other types of matter mixtures mixture is a substance that contains two or more different types of particles so alternatively we can say a mixture contains two or more pure substances mixed together a salt solution is one such example of a mixture as it is made up of two components salt and water always remember that all mixtures are considered as impure substances as they contain more than one kind of particles all matter can be divided into two general classes pure substances and mixtures but a quick addition here pure substances can be further divided into elements and compounds thus matter can be classified into elements compounds and mixtures let's take gold for example if we were to smash a piece of gold into smaller pieces or heat it the piece still retains all the properties of the element gold which means the atoms are still of gold another distinguishing feature of elements is that they have sharp melting and boiling points if we take gold again for instance it has a melting point of 1064 degree centigrade and a boiling point of 2700 degree centigrade so are you on the track with the bifurcation until now matter is divided into mixtures and pure substances which are further divided into elements and compounds now elements can be further divided into three categories as well metals non metals and metalloids before we learn about these three classes let's discuss three terms which we are going to use in distinguishing metallic elements from non metallic elements and these are malleability ductility and brittleness so what's malleability 
If a metal is malleable, it can be hammered into thin sheets without breaking it. Ductility is the process a metal possesses when it can be drawn or stretched into wires without breaking it. And last, the property due to which non-metals break into pieces on hammering is called brittleness. Brittleness is the opposite of malleability and ductility. So now that that's explained, let's get back to understanding metals, non-metals and metalloids. Tutamate for more amazing video lectures. Download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.